Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has come to me from the wonderful people at OneDaySaving.com. Uh, I've been showing their products for quite a while now and thoroughly enjoying looking at them and seeing them. Uh, I hope you are enjoying seeing them too. And yeah, I have another package to show you. So let's have a look at what we got in this one. So we have, oh, diamond painting. And oh, another diamond painting. And another diamond painting. And oh, a little packet which could just be a special project. You know, I like my little quirky things. Okay, so huge thank you One Day Saving for sending me these. And they have got quite a few special offers on at the moment. Uh, they have a 9 9 sale. So if you enter code, 99 sale uh, when you get to the checkout you will get 12% off which is brilliant and also if you spend over $50 you get free shipping and two free gifts and don't forget and if you want to use my code Liz, Liz 5 off you will get 5% off your order so yeah go and check out those orders and as I always say if you're watching this uh, video um, after I've made it a few months in the future hello <laughs> then uh, the special offers may have changed so just double check them um, before you check out but there are so usually some really really good offers on so it's always worth having a look so let's have a look at this little packet first and we'll just put those cha chaps over to one side and see what's over there oh i remember these i remember these yay so look at these they're absolutely brilliant oh look <laughs> oh they're great i love them right so oh and we've got two toolkits so you can do these with a friend very nice so we've got pen boat and wax and also pen boat and wax with lots of keychains so i think you can guess but we are keychains with this one okay we've got all crystal gems Ooh, have a look at those in a second just all stay there a moment while i get your little chains out sounds good doesn't it having like little ghosts and things and i'm gonna put chains on <laughs> so we've got one two three it's sticking to me a bit of wax there four five Six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight little chains and eight little lobster claw clasps. Excellent. So I think you'll guess we've got eight keychains to make. Oh no, was the cry, not more keychains, but I now have my Halloween tree, so I've got somewhere to put them all. I'm going to hang all my keychains that I've got done that I haven't gifted to people on my Halloween tree. Yay! Okay, so we have a little witch. Look at her, all in green and purple. And they are double-sided as well. Uh, has she got her a little hole stamped in it? Yes, she has. Okay, oh, we've got like a little gingerbready type doll, or is it one of those, um, what are they called? Are they damn it dolls, where you smack them on things. When you're having a bad day, you can take it out on your little doll, which is always a little bit sad to my mind, but yeah, so that's one of those. Or is it one of those monster things? I'm not quite sure. I'm so sure, somebody will probably let me know in the comments. You're a lot more um, up on things than I am. We've got a little ghost, look at that. Fabulous. We've got now then, what's that one? Is that like, I think this is another one of these doll type ones, isn't it? Because he's got like the little stitches and things on him. So I'll put those there. I think these are sort of the similar things. We've got a little mummy. Okay. If you can hear heavy breathing, it's Millie. It's not me. Um, she's decided to join me today. Um, she's under my desk, so you can't see her. Uh, we've got a little a skeleton. Millie is uh, my little Scottish terrier, or our little Scottish terrier. And she does like to come and make an appearance occasionally, but she's too hot for anything at the moment. We've got like a little vampire style uh, animal there. And then we've got 
like a little Frankenstein's monster. And I just thought these were really, really cute. They're not really scary. So again, you know, if you're wanting something Halloween-y, but, you know, you've got children or whatever, or youngsters or people that don't like um, scary things, then these aren't really scary, are they? They're quite cute, really. Uh, yeah, that's if you can call ghosts ghosts and mummies and things cute. But I thought they were really different and a different colour palette as well. So, yep, they've got the really good quality lobster claw clasps on them. So, yep, they're so cold because they do look like a lobster claw and they are the easiest to use. And then you just have your little ball and chain fastening. So you pop that through the little hole in your key ring at the top. So they are all double sided. I would do them all first and possibly seal them first, making sure not to seal over the hole. I've done that before, but if you just get um, a pokey tool or something and just poke the hole back through, uh, then yeah, it's fine. It does just poke back through and then you can just fasten it there and you've got your little keychain. You don't have to use those if you don't want to. I probably won't be using those because as I say, I'm going to hang them on my tree so it will just be hung on with the little chains, ooh, a ghost with rattling chains. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at these gems. Ooh, lovely and sparkly. Gosh, there's a lot of them. Oh my goodness me, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <gasps> thirteen gems, ooh, for Halloween. Okay. Oh, the big bags as well. Goodness, look, they're really long bags. So we've got this beautiful royal purple. Lovely green there. And a nice clear silver. Here's a standard little black thing. And a palish blue. And a honey gold. And a little bit of red. Not much red. Oh, I think the red is just possibly on this one's little heart here. He's just got a little heart. Oh, he does look very sad. He looks shocked. Is that witch got a tooth? That witch has got a tooth. I don't think I've ever seen a witch like that before. That's really funny. She's just got the one tooth. <laughs> then we've got some, oh, look at those large round purple crystals. It's a real royal purple, that. And a green crystal and a large silver crystal and a large black plain uh, acrylic there. And a large blue crystal and a large gold crystal. So it looks as so though they all match in. So we've got your purple in the large and small. We've got your green in the large and small, or standard as it were. And the silver in the large and small. The black in the large and small. The blue in the large and small and then the gold in the large and small and the only one we don't have the large is the red because it is just that little tiny bit there so wonderful different colour palette for me again but at Halloween and it's coming up um, I just can't believe we're in September already and the children have gone back to school where has this year gone? goodness me I just can't believe what's going on but never mind let me just get a little bag to put those in keep these all together and I'll put them in with the drills I know I have got a lot of key rings to do um, but there's just so many fantastic things coming out key rings and coasters the designs on them are just fabulous at the minute and yeah there's just not enough hours in a day to do them but i will get them done because now i've got my tree i need to get it decorated so i need to get them done don't i yay okay so let's move all you little chaps out of the way over there right what shall we do next let's have a look at this one so i think we might just be on a, a route moving from halloween to a different theme now but uh, yeah again i've got quite a few to do and i need to get planning and get some done so let's have a look at this little chap and this one is oh look he's a very happy santa look at that he's putting his arms out for a hug Oh, he's really cute. Look at his eyelashes. He's got lilac lashes as well. 
and yeah it's one of those plate ones again so um as i said i always do as i did last year you'll see if you look on my christmas playlists from last year uh, and i do my little run through you'll see my plates on the wall i cut anything that's round i tend to cut them out uh, rather than leaving the white frame um, and putting them into a picture frame and then I just put them on a bit of mount board uh, and put them on the wall as though there are, are an actual plate and they just look really really effective and um, I've decided I'm going to have like a display of plates as it were uh, going along my wall this year so I'm getting quite a few and there's just some fantastic designs out at the moment and if you check out the websites you will find uh, One Day Saving have them um, like sets they're selling some of them in sets so that you can get quite a few all at once and they save a little bit of money as well so yeah it's always worth having a look but there's not many to do on this it's going to be quite a quickish one to do because we're just more or less outlining uh, none of the wreath has got any gems on it it is just santa uh, a little bit of stars and then the flowers in the background you put setias in the background there with the bows so yeah this one will be a quick one to do but very effective and he's a very happy smiley santa and he wants to give you a hug so i think he'll have to go near the door because he wants to give you a big hug doesn't he i'm gonna say hello oh she's panting a little bit at the moment i'm afraid because uh, yeah it, yeah she's very much a hot dog at the moment i don't know why she's coming here really because uh, it is too warm for her jumps the fan on let me put the fan on you look. There you are, look, have it blowing on you. Oh, is that nice? Oh, she looks like, I don't know if uh, anybody remembers there was an advert on the telly um, and it was like a, a, a woolly handmade dog um, and it was sat in front of a fan with it all blowing on her and she's now sat with the fan blowing on her. <laughs> I'm sacrificing my heat for the dog so that she can have the fan rather than me. So, yeah, if I suddenly start perspiring, you'll know why. <laughs> Okay, pen, boat and wax as normal. And we have a lot of little gems. Let's have a look. Okay, and this canvas has got little codes on those crystals. So, the ones at the bottom with the codes on, when I put these away, when I de-kit this, I will be putting those codes on the bags and see if they match up with anything. This is my new mission as I'm putting away my special shapes and special gems, uh, just to see if I can sort of match up any of the special drills with another kit so that I've got like numbers on them. Yay! What I'm going to do once I've done that, I don't know, but that's what I'm up to at the moment. <laughs> Okay, so we have a lovely a clear red and a gold and a green and your standard black and your standard clear crystal. Oh, look, we've got little flowers. Oh, they're pretty. Oh, and then we've got some large pearls with an iridescent coating, some little stars and then some rounds with... Uh, yes, they have got facets on. Couldn't quite see if they had any facets on, some large rounds. So there is nine different gems and colours. So where do these little roses go then? I'm guessing, yeah, in the middle of the flowers. So we only need three and we've got four. So we've got a spare. I always like spares. Yay, so they're the ones, the last four at the end are the ones that have the codes on them. So they're the ones that when I kick them down, I will put a little sticker on with the code. Okay, once it's done, I will let you see it and we'll do a little kitting down as well. So that's that with the canvas there. And the price of him was only £4, which is marvellous, you know, to go out and buy something to do. I mean, it's less than the price of a cup of coffee and a banjo less than the price of a, great, a piece of cake as well in some, some shops at the moment. Goodness, things have gone up in price. Right, we'll look at this one next because that one's a little bit special. Okay, this is another one of the new ones that's come out. And again, there are sets of them. So if you're wanting to like do a theme and do a few at once, then you can do. Uh, rather than just having one random picture near another one. Uh, these are all higgledy-piggledy. Look, they're, they're starting to move across my desk. Ooh. Um, then you can have a bit of a theme going on. Okay. 
And I think you've already seen the little Rudolph nose there. He's saying hello. And I just again thought this was so cute. Uh, there's quite a few gems on this one actually. And um, there's quite a bit of snowflake going on around the um, frame there. But I just thought it just looks so surprised. It looks like he's just been walking past and he's just popped his head in and said, oh, hello. <laughs> And you'd probably just say, oh my goodness, they're in here. <laughs> and it's Rudolph, of course, because he's got his big red nose. Yay, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. I'm not going to sing, I promise I'm not going to sing. Um, yeah, just because I can't sing doesn't mean to say I won't. <laughs> okay. Uh, again, this one is a 30 by 30. I didn't measure the last one, but I think you can probably tell they're going to be about 24, 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter centimetres ish. Oh dear. I've got a very hot dog down here. Never mind. Right. So one of the uh, most humid days of the year and I'm looking at snow and Christmas pictures and I just think, oh my goodness, I could do with a bit of snow to cool off. I went shopping this morning and uh, while I was in the supermarket, I just walked up and down looking at the fridges for quite a while because it was just lovely and cool. <laughs> I bet the store detectives were thinking, she's a shoplifter. She's hanging around that fridge a bit too much. But it wasn't. It was just that it was just so nice and cool to just stand there and get all the cold air on you. <laughs> OK, pen, boat and wax. And let's have a look at these gems again. We've got nine different gems and colours. And again, we do have, oops, if I can get it in focus, Premlis. Uh Yeah, we do have the colours there. We do have the numbers there. So again, when I hit down those last three, I will be putting the codes on them and seeing if we can match up. We're going to eventually match some up, I'm sure. Okay, so we have the nine different ones. Ooh. Oh, look at that lovely cherry red. I'm guessing that is Rudolph's nose. We have a lovely Christmassy green and your plain silver. A little bit of yellowy gold there. And a little bit of a peach colour. And another sort of, it's a little bit oh, yellowy greeny colour. And then we have some large semispheres in the full gold colour. And some faceted larger rounds in red. And then, oh, lots of marquees in silver. And then lots of marquees in there. They've got like a, they're like a grey colour. Aren't they the same? Are they the same? They're the same. So we've got two bags of those. I was thinking, oh, no, it's the reflection on the packet list. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, thinking about it, number nine, look, we've got all of these all the way around the edge here. All around here, all around here to do. So that's why I've got so many of those to put on. Oh, this is going to look so pretty. And we've got our heli bars here. Look, our Christmas roses just down in the corner with a few little red berries in between. So, yeah, it's going to be really cute to do this one. Actually, it could, although this one's round and that one's square, they are quite nice together. Because, uh, yeah, they're sort of a similar style, aren't they? sort of cartoony but not real cartoony you know i just love his eyes he just looks so surprised to be looking through the window and seeing somebody <laughs> oh maybe he saw santa wanting to give him a hug it's like whoa you want to give me a hug okay <laughs> people look at me like that when i give them a hug as well i'm a bit of a hugger i'm afraid um yeah i do like to give people hugs it was terrible when the pandemic was on because, uh, yeah, I couldn't hug anybody and it was torture. But now I can just hug everybody. Yay! <laughs> okay, so that's our little second canvas there. And the price of that one was only £4 as well. <sighs> right, so I've saved this one till last. Because this is a little bit bigger one and it's just so cute. I just had to get it. Okay. You may have seen it. It has been on the website a little bit. Um, it's not one of the brand new ones. But I am absolutely loving doing a larger size special drill 
canvases and look at the size of this one and look at these are they not just so cute little snowmen so we've got our pen button wax as normal but look at this and it's a 30 by 60 so it's one of my uh, landscape style long thin canvases and i just love them i just love the bigger style you just get more impact because the bigger and they just look so good when they're on the wall the other larger ones that i did get the frames for are now up on my walls and they do look good and people do say oh i like that when they come in so yeah people do notice them so it's practically flattened already uh, if you don't find you get any creases in your canvases just put them under something heavy and it will soon flatten them out but oh look at these little faces do you know i think that one is possibly yeah, either going to give this one a kiss or this one's going to give this one a kiss and he's going oh go on then and he's going oh i've got shy and this one's saying oh for goodness sake just get on with it and that one's saying oh look it's snowing <laughs> completely oblivious to what everybody else is doing <laughs> but are they just absolutely oh i love them i just think that to be honest i think this may go above either the archway that we've got in the uh, living room or even above the mirror because it's just so sweet and i have got some um, lights as well that i put up at christmas so just putting the lights above it will just make them sparkle more as well I'm liking the background with like the wood effect and it's just got that little bit of colour on it. So rather than it just being sort of monochrome with your red and your white on your uh, snowmen, I suppose you've got your orange as well, probably for your nose. We'll have a look at the drills. But then it's just so cute. Can you call snowmen cute? They haven't got scarves on these, have they? Uh, yeah, they've just got their lovely woolly hats with all their little wool trails out the back. Oh, but that one just looks so pleased with itself and this one's like oh and he's saying oh my goodness no and that one's just away with the fairies i think <laughs> so this one is eight different colors and again we do have some codes on those extra special gems at the bottom so again we'll be putting those on the bags so let's have a look at them actually i am going to measure this one because it is that little bit longer so we are 55 centimetres, which is 21 and a half inches. And I would think we're about 25 centimetres. Yep, 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So yeah, I did get some really good frames. And I am hanging on until I've done quite a few of the new specials that I've got that are bigger. And then I'll order the frames all together because you do get a discount um, from the frame company that I use. It's on eBay. I think a few people have used them. Um, and you do get a discount if you buy more than one frame. So, yeah. And it's quite nice getting them all at once. And then you can just sit and do the framing all together as well. Uh, if I do get some, well, when I do get some, um, I will do the framing again. I have got a few framing videos if you look in my playlist okay let's have a look at these gems oh i can see the orange already so we have got orange noses okay oh ooh. right so we have two bags of this gorgeous christmasy red that's going to be the hats and then we have a little bit of black with an escapee red in there. Then we have two bags of standard silver, nice and clear crystals there. A little bit of orange there for the noises. And then we have some white. So where does the white go then? White is number five. So these are all threes. All right, so we've got crystals mixed in with the white oh this will be interesting then so i think they're sort of edged in the white and then they've got uh, in the crystals and then some of the face has actually got the white on now i might substitute that out for um uh, an aurora borealis coated white uh, like an ab coated an iridescent coated white just uh, yeah i think that might just look nice but we'll see when we get it done 
we've got some golds to go in the middle of the noses uh, and then it's the orange gems around it we've got some large black without any facets to go on their little tummies for the buttons and then we've got lots and that is number eight so all oh, right so all the little tummies all the little bed bodies and the little tummies are covered in stars oh how cute is that so they're going to have the little black buttons they'll have all the standard silver gems round them and then we've got all little stars on the tummies oh that is gorgeous i love this so much i'm so pleased that i got this one because it's just so cute and uh, yeah i could do with a bit of that snow at the moment i'd love to be just laid out in that snow at the moment because it is so warm here and i keep moaning about it i do apologize but oh dear it's humidity it just gets me <laughs> so i thoroughly enjoyed looking at these i've had quite a bit of fun and uh, i love this one this is definitely my favorite this is absolutely wonderful and then we've had our little rudolph and our little santa and then all our and then all our little figures for our key rings. Look at these. Ooh, with all the little faces. I think they're brilliant. Just something a little bit different. Okay. Well, a huge thank you, One Day Saving, for sending me these. I've thoroughly enjoyed looking at them uh, and going through them. They're brilliant. I love them. Really, really love them. If you've enjoyed looking at these with me, then a thumbs up is always very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below? Any comments or questions in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and see these finished, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.